been trying to figure them out for a little bit here. Been through quite a few different baits, <laughs> but truly swimming the jig. Didn't let it hit the bottom, cast it out, started winding. Good to get one. <laughs> a little Barrett Bass back on Barrett Lake. Happy to be out here and really looking forward to catching some of these fish. The lake has changed from last year. The water level is a lot lower and there's a lot of this uh, noodly grass in the water. So it's making some of the baits difficult to come through the grass. I'm in the search right now to find the right bait, to find the right water depth and the right area to catch these fish. There we go, guys. Finally got a taker here. Trying to figure them out. It's a little bit difficult to figure out these bass today. Let's see if I can get this one in without losing it. All right, all right, all right. Got ourselves another northern strain spinnerbait bass. Clean fish, I mean, he just had that one mark that I just put in his face, so. Hey, just trying to figure him out. Getting a couple, five feet of water, running that spinnerbait. War baits, three eighth ounce, double willow, gold and silver willow blade pattern. Yeah, trying to figure him out here. It's, it's a little difficult, but. I'm gonna keep with it and uh, hopefully score a couple more of these bass. All right, a little swim jig fish. Nothing big yet. But good to get another one. Another clean looking fish, man. I swear this one has not been caught before, or at least this year. <laughs> another good looking fish, though. There's a lot of that noodly grass just on the shoreline or soil. And so came up over here to this rock style bank, hard rock bank here. Less of that grass, it's not growing as well on this rock and I think uh, I think that might be the ticket is to fish some harder structures here uh, not so much the stick ups not so much the soft soil stuff but harder rock structures I'm going to concentrate on that type of structure right now I'm going to have to slow down my presentation a bit I'm going to go ahead and swim the jig low and slow uh, fish it on that pause and hopefully we get a couple more bites there but right now 3 8 ounce Roach style swim jig, Barrett Roach, Strike King Speed Craw here. Let's keep with it. There we go. Man, that was a good one. I think I'm figuring something out here. This harder rock structure. It came right out. I think I'm figuring something out here, a little something. That harder rock structure, able to get that jig in the right location, get those bites. <laughs> That's a pretty looking fish though. It's like real gold on the side. That's a pretty looking fish. All right, get him in. Let's try it again. Imagine being a crawdad, just done these rocks, just kind of clicking along <laughs> and then just getting pounded by a bass. There we go. Again, same scenario, bigger fish, a little bit bigger of fish. Back myself up here. I don't want to blow that spot up. 
All right, guys, that was the exact same scenario I'd been going through here. I'm fishing like in three to four foot of water on a on an inclined bank, and it's all hard rock, and just bringing that jig parallel with the structure. Another bass. Oop, right out. This is my biggest one so far. Not a giant, but my biggest one. And it's kind of lean, so maybe he spawned out or something. Yeah, kind of strange. Oh, they're just stacked up right here. But this this hard structure must be the uh, the key the key to the whole deal here. I'm parked on the shore here, fishing a couple different depths, trying deep. You know, getting real shallow, right on the right on the shoreline. That seems to be the best ticket. But you know, there's a couple different depths here. I sticked him. <laughs> I totally screwed that one up, but it was a big one. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I tried to jack him into the boat, and then I tried to. to uh, I don't know why I didn't. Uh, <laughs> what the heck? Oh man. Got a little too um, impatient there. All right, cool, good job, buddy. All right, hope you guys like that. <laughs>time overall the bite was a little tough the fish are a lot different than they were last year they're not as aggressive it, it could have been the day that I went as well I went on a Sunday so those fish could have been beat up uh, you know throughout the throughout the week and on the weekend I only found them in a few spots but hey it was great to get out there my biggest takeaway from the whole trip was meeting you guys I met some of you guys on kayaks some people on boats and definitely the two guys that I met at the launch ramp on shore had a great conversation. Thanks for using the baits. Everybody I met was super nice. And it's always good to connect with people. Hey, if you see me on the water or on land here, just say hello. I'm super approachable and love talking to you guys all about fishing or life in general. I hope you guys enjoyed that session. It was a fun one and I'm looking forward to getting back out there. Let me know how you guys did in the comments section. I want to know if it's as slow as I think it is or if it was just me. All right, guys, get out there, go fishing, hook that giant.